Good morning, everybody. My name's Ashley. I've been doing a channel called Think to Rethink. It's about lining your thinking process up with God's word. What he says, the truth is in God's word um, about every area of your life, about every decision you're going to make, what you should do, um, the path you should take. God's word is the truth. Um, so it's about lining your thinking pattern up with what God says and not what the world's telling us and not what we've learned. Um, it's about the truth. So um, I've been doing these little uh, motivational encouragement uh, videos that I've been calling fight facts because when you get a certain thought in your mind, you need to fight it back with what the word of God says, scripture, because that's what the Bible says. That's how we fight spiritually is with the word of God. And we cast out every thought. We take every thought captive. And if it doesn't line up with the will of God, which is God's word, if it doesn't line up with what God says, then you need to cast it out. Um, that being said, you also need to be careful what you uh, see and what you hear um, and be slow to speak too. Um, so fight back. So this one's about fear. Um, think to rethink is my channel once again. I hope you guys subscribe and follow me because I'm doing this for the glory of God. Uh, I've been through a lot and I've really had um, victory in certain areas. Strongholds have been broken with my mindset and it's just amazing and I want to help other people. So fear. So when you're feeling feel fearful, um, when you're fearing, a uh, definition of fear, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. A lot of people think um, like the Bible verse that says you need to fear the Lord. A lot of people are scared of God. Like he's going, to, like he's this bad God waiting to punish you. Um, but it's the opposite. He loves us. And we should fear, We when the Bible is talking about the fear verse, we should fear the Lord. Um, but it's a reverence fear. It's a fear that we don't want to disobey, that we want to do what God wants for us and that we want to seek his will above our own and we don't want to disappoint him even though we really can't disappoint God. We don't want to intentionally disappoint him, I should say. Um, so it's not a fear because God's going to punish us um, and we have to walk a straight line or he isn't going to forgive us or he is going to punish us. No, God forgives. God loves us. God loved God loves us just as much when we get our salvation when we're saved and following Christ as much as he did when we wasn't following Christ and we wasn't saved and we were oblivious and just foolish. He loves us the same. So you can't work to earn God's love. God's love is there. It's oh god it's amazing so first john 418 niv says there is no fear in love but perfect love dries out fear because fear has to do with punishment the one who fears is not made perfect in love all right let's go back a little bit i love to dive deep into the bible there's so many things to learn and different perspectives to to see um, so there's no fear in love. God is love. So there's no fear in love. God is love, the Bible says. But perfect love drives out fear. Okay, fear feels like you're you're doing something dangerous and likely to cause pain or punishment, right? So perfect love is not likely to cause pain or punishment, right? Because the, the definition of fear is likely to cause pain or punishment. Because fear has to do with punishment, okay? So fear is equal to punishment. Love is not equal to punishment. So love and fear are two different things from two different sides, you might as well say, from God and from the enemy. Whatever God has, the enemy has too. Different, the opposite of what God has. Light, darkness love fear conviction condemnation see what i mean so you have to be careful 
All right, so Isaiah 41.10 NIV says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hands. God is with us. So when you're fearing, feel fearful and you think no one's there and you, you don't have anyone to relate, God can relate. God is there. God understands everything. He's created all. Um, Joshua 1, 9 NIV says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For your God, for your, for the Lord, your God will be with you wherever you go. So do not be fearful when you're going through something, guys. Uh, God is with you through it all. No matter if you can feel that he's there or not. He is with you and he is not a liar. The Bible says all these things. He's not a liar. He's faithful. He'll never leave you or forsake you. He's with you through it all. Okay? And he has great plans for you. Uh, for a hope and a future. And it's just amazing, guys. So when you're fearing when you feel fearful, you remind yourself, God is with me. I'm not alone through this. And what else should you remind yourself of? That love is not fear. That that's not the feeling of love. And that's not you putting love out when you put fear to someone. When you when you have someone else fear, that's not, that's not good. So love is not fear. It's, fear is the opposite of love. So you need to cast that fear out. Fear can come from many directions and through many trials, obstacles in this world that you go through. So that's why as soon as that thought gets in your mind before it has time to root and plant and dwell in your mind, you need to immediately replace it with the word of God. Find you a scripture. There's 365 scriptures on do not fear in the Bible one for each day of the year so find a scripture and fight it out find one until you know it's out until you have replaced it with the thought of god in his word god's word you replaced it with god's word a bible scripture i hope this helped at least one person guys um i just love when god uses me and works through me and so many great things are to come if you can just overcome your mind and your thinking process and filter what you see and what you hear and who you're around. And it's very important, guys. The mind is where it all starts. It's a battlefield. It's a spiritual battlefield. And there's plenty of Bible scriptures that will prove that it's a battlefield. Um, I just wanted to cut this video really, keep this video really short. So you guys can just have something to meditate on and to help you cast out fear. So please don't fear. Fear doesn't come from love. Uh, God. God is love. All right. Have a great day, guys. I hope your day's blessed. And I love you all. Until next time. Bye, guys.